The 24th Winter Olympics will be held in Beijing and Changchiakou in China from February 4th to 20th, 2022. As transportation support, China is building a 174-kilometer-long beijing Changchiakou intercity high-speed railway, which connects the three venue clusters of Beijing, Yangqing, and Changchiakou and traverses through the heart of the Great Wall, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The new Badaling Tunnel and Badaling Great Wall Railway Station are the most critical and challenging parts of the construction. The 12.01-kilometer-long new Badaling Tunnel parallels the Shui Guan Great Wall, cuts just four meters beneath the Qinglong Chao Station on the old Beijing Changchiakou Railway, and dives under the Badaling Great Wall twice. The tunnel houses two lines with a maximum section width of 32.73 meters at the tunnel station transition and an excavation area of 508 square meters. The Badaling Great Wall Railway Station has an underground construction area of 39,852 square meters with a length of 470 meters, maximum depth of 102 meters, passenger exits and entrances 62 meters above the underground level. The underground station has three tunnels and three floors. The three tunnels refer to three closely spaced parallel tunnels on the platform floor. The first 36 meters at both ends of the station will be three arched structures and the 398 in the middle separated tunnels. The three floors refer to the platform, entrance, and exit and mechanical floors. There will be diagonal channels connecting the platform, entrance, and exit floors, as well as the underground and ground portions. The entrance and exit channels are on overlaid layers above the middle of the platform floor to separate outbound and inbound passengers and balance entrance and exit distribution. Mechanical caverns are mainly on the exit floor, with a minimum horizontal spacing of 2.4 meters and a minimum vertical spacing of 4.5 meters. The station has 78 caverns, including the main cavern, 88 section forms, and multiple intersections. Annular rescue channels allow for prompt rescue and complete coverage in the event of emergencies. The station uses the close-cut method, with eight sub-channels set for construction at the number two inclined shaft. The cavern construction is organized by the principles of paralleled and staggered arrangement and lower layers and marginal sections first to ensure safety. For vertical air shafts, a raise borer drills a pilot hole from the surface down. Then a drill bores from bottom up for the first expansion followed by the drill and blast method to expand the shaft again from the surface down. The inclined entrance and exit passages are completed with the four layers and eight sections method, surface down excavation in four layers, and the bottom up lining in three runs. During the construction of the station and the large span station tunnel transition, new technologies including pre-stressed anchor cable support DFHC excavation, super and variable section tunnel second lining, long life concrete construction, three separate closely spaced tunnels, three arch tunnel construction, ventilation for complex underground caverns are used to solve the various technological challenges encountered. Since construction started, a multi-channel smart cloud computing management system, which includes BIM, tunnel face geology digital image processing, real-time test monitoring and measurement information collection, as well as traffic guidance based on man-machine positioning, has helped achieve multi-channel safe and fast operation. The project has applied the electronic detonator accurate and micro-damage blasting technology for the first time. During construction of the tunnel under the Great Wall and of the closely spaced caverns, the vibration velocity of explosions is controlled within 0.1 centimeters per second and 4 centimeters per second respectively. 
This not only protects the Great Wall, but also ensures safe construction and surrounding stability. Deformation of the surrounding rocks is controlled within two centimeters. No surface subsidence has occurred. With reasonable planning and construction organization of the eight sub-channels, construction of the 2,941 meter long Bada Ling station took just 372 days, averaging 7.9 meters per day. By implementing proper construction approaches, the Bada Ling Great Wall Railway Station's initial lining was completed with stable structure and quality lining, achieving the construction goal of safety, quality, and intelligence.